Let's look at how to use if. So we're going to begin with simple if statements and make more complicated like having nested ifs. That is if within if. Here is a simple example. You have student and the final exam score and we need to assign a grade. So the simple decision rule is if a student gets more than 90, 90 or above, gets an A, anything less than 90, let's say it's B. So the rule is anything above 90 is an A, anything below 90 is a B. So just to be correct, it's 90 and above is an A. So here I can just say equal to if, now logical test, which means you want to verify some condition. If C5 is greater than or equal to 90, then it is an A. Anytime when you put a character, always put a double quote. If not, it's a B. So that's what you have the logical test. If C5 is greater than 90, then it's an A, else it's B. So we get an A. So we can copy that formula by dragging this, and it automatically does the grading. So the student 2 is a B, B, and even 4 is B, and then A. Now, remember, we put the actual value 90 in the, uh, in the formula itself. So we decided never to put hard numbers because we can change that later. Instead of 90 here, let's go and link it to this particular cell G2. So since that G2 is fixed, I'm sorry, it's G3. G3 is fixed, we can uh, put the dollar sign around G so we lock the particular cell. So if you double click on this now, it does the same. But if the decision rule changes instead of 90, if you put 80, then you see the grades automatically change. So what we did was here a very simple if statement, where if this, then A, otherwise B. Now you could have a different formula that says, if it is 90 and above is A, 80 and 90 is B, or else it's a C. So in order to do that, let's go back and redo this particular equation once again. If C5 is greater than or equal to 90, then it's an A. If not, we continue with another if, that's a nested if, if C5 is greater than or equal to 80, then it's a B, otherwise it's a C. So if you watch this carefully, we have an if within a if. You got to match the parenthesis and you got to have exactly the same structure. So we can continue to have any number of ifs within an if. What we look at, something called VLOOKUP, that helps us reduce the size of these if statements. So clearly, once again, we are linking C5, greater than or equal to 90 is an A, or else if C5 is greater than or equal to 80, then B, otherwise C. Like before, we need to lock in the values here, G3 and G4. And you can copy the formula. So you can pretty much have any number of if statements, uh, logical statements within if statements, and build a very complex formula with if statement.